Hello everyone. We are going to see how to create a WCF application, WCF service, and how to host it and how to consume it using WPF. Okay, so let's create a new project. Our service project should be WCF service library, so we can add multiple libraries in it. Let's give a name Girish service library. Let's create it in D slash test folder and create this folder. So this is going to create a service library project and it will have some default templates uh, like this. So service library namespace in that there is a iService1 and iService1.cs. So service1.cs. So this is the interface and this is the class. Uh, let's rename uh, this interface and let's remove some complications like uh, composite data. We don't need a composite data for our for our testing. Uh, uh, let's remove this reference as well. So we want to have a simple service. Let's uh, rename this interface. Rename it to iGirish service. And let's rename its uh, uh, implementation class, service implementation class. Let's keep only one method. And uh, let's rename this as well to Girish service. Okay. Yeah. So this creates our service. That's it. So if you run this now, you will see that it has uh, Visual Studio has created this uh, client and um, it has uh, launched, it has hosted our service. So we can test these operations. And if we send, give some data 12, invoke the API, you entered 12. Okay, that comes from here. So the service is working fine. Now let's host it. So for hosting, we want to add a new project. New project should be WCF service. Next, uh, we can say Girish service host and create. So this has created, again, it has created this uh, uh, template service. We want to delete it. So let's delete that. And this SVC file is the important one. So for this file, remove these entries and uh, let's add our Girish service. So uh, let's copy this and SVC is the main file dot Girish service, right? So this is our service file and uh, this will uh, help us to invoke, okay? So yeah, with these things, now we should be able to uh, uh, app.config so this is fine so with this if you say okay view in a browser okay it has hosted it server error slash application something missing so what am i missing this thing i guess so let me copy it and manually paste it and uh, let me use this correctly yeah so if i yes so uh, i will have to add a reference of course so add a, a reference of the project this right so after adding the reference only you will get this library and dll and uh, now you can say okay view in a browser so yeah this service is okay now so you will use svcutil.exe to create our dummy files. So if you run as administrator, yes, go to D and fire this command and it's going to give us these two files. So using those two files, uh, what we can do is we can create a, another application. So I'm going to right click run as an administrator, yes. And uh, Let's create another client application which will consume this service. Okay. So create a new project, create a, a WPF net framework, dot net framework, this application, any name is fine. We simply want to consume this service, right? So how do we consume it? Uh, we, we need an application, okay? And in that application, we add a reference or uh, we add these files these files okay so let's copy them uh, let's go to the folder uh, paste it fine now let's add these files uh, just just one file so add 
existing item and this is the item that we want to add in our project so now we can refer to this this app.config should have the configuration of this service so this is the configuration configuration and uh, let's add it here yeah and uh, now we want to add a reference here so in its references we can say add a reference of our assemblies which is a service model and this will be added with this i hope so add reference service model it's checked okay okay now it's there so with this our application should be able to access this service and uh, what, what how do we want to access it it's simple we want one button and uh, we want one text block okay so yeah we'll take this text block i'll increase the size of it and i'll give some name to it uh, let's say x colon name is equal to text one and uh, let's increment the font size font size is equal to 30 and on clicking this button we want to invoke our service so how do we invoke it uh, they have already given us how we should use it so we can simply use that and i'll paste it here and our client dot get data 11 okay and this is going to give us some output and what we want to do is we want to add uh, we want to set our text our text is equal to output okay so we can see that what is the output of this and uh, with this <clears throat> we have added these entries here so we can access the service we have added it here so everything looks fine this is not needed anymore and uh, let's run this application so when you run this application and click button you entered 11 so it's cool right and uh, the beauty f beauty of it is this okay I'm running this application okay I click this button you entered 11 now in my service if I go and change my service and say hey you entered whatever and simply run this again mm -hmm. okay maybe I should rebuild yeah, I, of course I will have to build it and uh, this is running and I say click hey you entered 11 now again if I go here hey man and save it build it and uh, simply click the button hey man you entered this. so basically uh, this project is independent this project is independent they get compiled and you get the output correctly okay so that's the idea and it's working fine